Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you were Tristan Thompson, um, yo, it looks like Chloe finally got fed up. Baby, it looked like the Kardashians really cut off the little demon himself, Tristan Thompson. And baby, I can't say I'm surprised as much as Chloe talked about her heart and her love and her this and her that. One of the things that really people said kept her with Tristan is the fact that Tristan was funding her whole lifestyle. Say what you want about the Kardashian check, baby. It ain't that long to get a custom built house for 30 million. On top of that, it was exposed that Chloe doesn't even own Good American. She's not even an owner. She's nothing but a glorified influencer who Emma Gerd said, baby, you can go. We don't need you anymore. I love to see it. Somebody finally finessing the Kardashians. Anyway, listen, now let's get into this. But I got to ask, right? Because Tristan is being sued left and right. He going through his money. And I got to ask you, do you think Tristan regrets not marrying Chloe? I mean, some people will say that that option is always on the table. But other people said that they think Chloe is finally done with Tristan. Oddly enough, they said taking care of Amari is what sent her over the edge. It was just too much for her. And that's when she started distancing herself from Tristan. Okay? Now, people said, now, Chloe eventually got over Lamar, but that 25-game suspension really hurt his pockets. Y'all, let's get into this. On top of that, he owes everybody and their mama child support. I guess everybody except for Chloe. Baby, Tristan was sued by a furniture company for breach of contract and unjust admission. Even the furniture company for the house you sold. They said Tristan has been hit with a lawsuit by a luxury furniture company for alleged breach of contract. According to legal docs obtained by the blast, uh, Tristan failed to meet the terms of the agreement in his contract. Woo! After he was gifted outdoor furniture. Now, let me just say this, right? This is a little funny, but I will say this. Why would you trust a known cheetah? He cheated on Chloe. He cheated on every woman he's been. He even cheated on the surrogate. I know what you're saying. How's that possible? I don't know, but Tristan found a way, <laughs> baby. And so people are like, oh, do bad. I don't understand. You see someone's a dirtbag, but you want to do business with them? I mean, I guess. It's just my opinion. Maybe they saw something else, okay? So anyway, they gave Tristan several pieces of outdoor furniture, including club chairs. Ooh, ooh. Sofas, coffee table, ottoman. Tristan was sitting his high booty up high, living good, right? And he he allegedly agreed to pay to give the company a minimum of ten to fifteen high resolution images through posts on his Instagram page, where he would credit them, and also editorial exposure uh, on the magazine Architectural Digest. However. Tristan failed to do any of those things after being suspended for 25 games after testing positive for being on the juice, juice, being on the roids. Tell me how you. <laughs> Tristan got on the roids, the juice, so he could walk around in poom poom shorts, some Reebok low tops, and some scrunch socks around the Palm Spring. <laughs> Courtney's kitchen annoying the F out of her. Baby, listen, he's not paying anybody. People are saying he doesn't have the money because that 12-game suspension. They said that he's only made $126 million total for his life. Now, I know what you're saying, that's a lot. But let's also forget when you're an athlete, right? You got to pay your manager. You got to pay your agent. You got to pay... You got to pay the IRS, right? Who else you got to pay? Tristan got to pay his Roy dealer. He got to pay his drug dealer. <laughs> or I'm sorry, is it a doctor? Anyway, right? Um, they're saying that uh, when he signed with the Cleveland Cavaliers, it was a four-year deal for $16,821,270. He proved himself as he earned a series of accolades and resigned with the team. Ooh, he earned a significant pay raise. He agreed to a five-year contract for $82 million. 
However, one year after signing his extension, Tr Tristan and the Cavaliers got a taste of victory. Okay, so you know they went to Cavaliers. They did this, they did that. Let's fast forward to the Royd stuff, okay? Now, mind you, during this, he was spending money like water. Listen, if there's anything the Kardashians are going to do, they're going to get access to the bank account, especially Chloe. All that crying, Tristan was funding her whole lifestyle. Again, right? Now, when the LA Lakers signed Tristan, he only got like 16000 but it was enough for him to, for them to put him back on with, get the eye of the Cavaliers and put him uh, back on the Cavaliers. Now, here's the thing. I heard why he was out in the Cavaliers stuff. Tristan was dipping and diving, slipping and sliding. He literally not only left Chloe to be a single parent to a five-year-old, to a newborn, baby Rob, or how I should say, baby Trist, I mean, baby Chloe. What else did he do? He then left his special needs brother, Amari, who he had fought to get guardianship over at Chloe's house. So Chloe had three children that all needed attention and care under one roof, and Tristan was partying uh, with Davido in Texas. He was partying in Vegas, he was doing all this mess. Man, Tristan is trash. But you know who I blame for this? Chloe. Because Chloe's trash. Chloe encouraged him to fight to get Marley pennies. And he don't even, he's not even paying Marley, even though she might have, she went for back child support. She, he, she encouraged him to be like, oh, our family. And didn't care what was going on with Prince. Again, this is the outside looking in. The reality could be something completely different, but I don't think so. She literally went out of her way to paint him as being the best dad in the world and always there. And he's so lovely. He's even a father to dream. Meanwhile, he's not a father to his own children, right? And Chloe was fine with that. Chloe literally went to war with every woman that said Tristan wasn't ish. And now your worst nightmare or Chloe's worst nightmare has been realize not only do you got two kids with this guy right you are taking care of Amari which is the one good thing but I really do think once her and Tristan break up yeah she ain't gonna be taking care of Amari I think that's what she just did because she wanted Tristan back okay on top of that when Tristan's money ran out that's when Chloe really distanced herself from her, she, from him. She started arguing with him over things. All of a sudden, him disappearing, turning his phone off, doing all this stuff. Baby, it just wasn't worth it at all. You guys, that suspension really cost him a lot of money. Again, once you pay all the people and the taxes, he probably added that $126 million that he's made in his lifetime. If he's lucky, he got to spend, he got to keep 55 or 60 million of it. On top of that, it's the lifestyle, it's the clothes, it's the Louis bags, it's all this stuff. And let's also not forget, he helped Chloe build a house. He's been funding this, he's been funding that. Y'all, listen, Tristan is a selfish man. I doubt that Chloe even has access to um, his money. I do know that he knows his money is funny right now, and I do believe he has cut everybody off, and that's why you're starting to see these negative stories leak out, because Chloe, now that her money is cut off, is finally sick of him. Now, that said, you know Dum Dum is probably going to show up next year with another bun in the surrogate oven and having an a even bigger engagement ring. But if Tristan is as broke or cash poor as everybody says, um... Do you think he asked for that ring back so he could sell it? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Listen, y'all. We're going to have to see where this is. Again, some people said that Chloe is over Tristan. She's just mad that financially he can't provide the way he was anymore. But let me tell y'all something. If I know anything about her dumb dumb, she's finding out a way to support her man or do whatever. But time will tell. Time will tell. I do know until I see Chloe pop out with somebody else's man. I don't think she over Tristan. And for those of y'all wondering why I said somebody else's man, because that's the only type of man Chloe actually wants. Just check her track record. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.